Hey guys, how y'all doing? I can't go live for too long. My phone battery's gonna die. <clears throat> Might get 15, 20 minutes out of it. I wanted to show you guys my temporary mock-up setup. Um, I think they look pretty cool, aside from all the zip ties holding them in. But I just added these. I wish this camera wasn't so freaking zoomed in. I don't know how to change that. But, uh, let me, hey, what's up? Let me turn my, oh, it's not going to let me. There we go. Let me turn my Wi-Fi off so it goes on my cellular network. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> those are temporary just to see how they sounded and how they did. I still got to drive down the road and make sure they don't whistle and all that stuff. But uh, they sound really good. Oh, crap. Hopefully that's it. Okay. I'll show you guys what it sounds like, and then I want to show you all the light. Let's see. Let's see real quick. I think they turned out okay. Aside, like I said, don't mind the zip ties. That's just a mock-up thing. I'll be doing a permanent solution later on. I just want to, that's for testing purposes. I hate how this camera is so zoomed in. It drives me nuts. Let's see. I'm going to try a song that kind of jams. That is my 800. <laughs> Let's see. Looking for the best music for your videos? Mm -hmm. Then you should check out Iris. Try this. Trying to find a song that really jams, guys. It's hard because I can't play copyrighted music. Alright guys, trying to find a sucks here. There's not much to do when I look is thinking about you not doing well. Don't know where you are. 
Anyway, guys, that's enough of that. Colonel. Okay. All right, guys, let me flip this camera back around. I can't see the chat or anything, so if you're trying to chat with me, I can't really see it. I don't even know how to pop it up on here. I just got to be able to uh, go YouTube live on my mobile, so it's all kind of new to me, guys. But if you want to do something like this for your rig, it's super easy. Just uh, don't ridicule me over the nasty look with all the zip ties. It's a temporary thing for fitment. I guess you could say uh, prototype. But they fit in there really nice. They almost look like they belong in there. But I plan on getting some <clears throat> steel... Some This is steel, but it's just crap I had laying around. And uh, I'll do this so it fits better. And then we'll run some self-tappers in make it look a whole lot cleaner, guys. But this is just temporary for now to see how it does. But it's super, super loud. So um, then I have these bad puppies. Boss Audio is... I think these are Boss... I don't remember. Power, they're power acoustic. But uh, they're the 8 inch or 6 inch, I think. Something like that. I don't know. Something like that. 6 inch, 6 and a quarter. Um, they jam. And then I know you got, most of you guys have already seen my install video. That's an Alpine 4 channel amp, 200 watts. It it rocks. It doesn't even really use any power. Let's see. Cancel. <clears throat> Let's see. There we go. I got I got the chat. Tire speaker pods like on the boats. Yeah, that's what those are also note that the actual stereo head unit has a lot to do with the sound yes i know um my machine does not have a head unit there is no head unit my cell phone is the head unit i have this little box right here it's bluetooth to the amplifier that little thing controls my amplifier. My, so my cell phone is what outputs the sound, and I have an iPhone, so I don't have I don't have any issues with bad sound quality. And I bought a really good um, Bluetooth box, so it sounds really really clean and clear. The only thing I'm really missing is a subwoofer. I don't know if I'll even do that or not. Oh yeah, guys. Well, I was making those. I put a jigsaw blade straight through my hand. Straight freaking through. I probably should have went and got stitches, but I ain't going to no damn hospital right now. So, it'll have to do. I did clean it out real good, so should be all right. Let's see. Is there anybody typing in the chat? No. Welcome to the live chat. Remember to guard your privacy and abide by our community guidelines. Yeah, guys. Oh, yeah. I think I uploaded a video earlier. I don't know if it made it or not. You guys remember the boys' old go-kart? What's well, back for me to work on it? The guy's granddaughter, she loves this thing. Um... She snapped off the throttle cable. I think it did upload. I think it did. I don't know. I've been super busy and that happened. Why did I sell it? 
I sold it because the boys wanted those. And uh, Christopher, my boy, was getting to be a little too big for this. And uh, it's a little too much power, too powerful for Jarek to handle. This go-kart right here, with all the modifications I did to it, um, it does like 40 miles an hour. Yeah, that's the only reason I got rid of it. The guy actually gave me cash and this little dirt bike for it. So, I really couldn't beat it. I, I did lose a little bit of money on it. But not not much, not bad. We I kind of miss having it around because it was a cool little thing for him. And then my boy, he rides this a lot. And a lot of times they double ride on this. That thing, it just had a lot of hard time going where we go in, in those. It didn't like the hills and stuff. It could handle ruts and mud, but inclines, the it didn't really like them. So. But yeah. Long story short, that's why. But it's back for some maintenance. I still keep in touch with the guy. He's pretty pretty nice guy. I got parts ordered for that. Yeah, yeah, we do. We trail ride a lot. It's just here. Right now, the trails are closed due to season. And then the ones that are open are closed due to COVID-19. So, I got the plates because I want to be able to drive it to work. But, yeah, you guys will see some trail videos coming up. Next month, we have a trip planned. We're going to Renegade Ridge, and I invite everybody to join us. So, if you're anywhere near Ohio and you want to join us at uh, Renegade Ridge next month, we're going Memorial Day weekend. As long as they don't cancel it. And so far they haven't. So. We'll be going there. I love that place. Check this out. Got a refrigerator for free today. Nice and cold in there. I can put a six pack of. I mean uh, soda in there. Yeah, I wanted to go live for a bit and kind of show you that. I was kind of excited about it. I'm speakers. I just, I know they look funky and, and you guys know that's not how I install stuff. You guys know it. I just hooked up so it don't turn on unless your key is turned. No, no, I don't. I have it all through this switch. Right now it's on. And I did that. So when we're camping, if I want to listen to tunes, I can listen to the stereo with that amplifier on this for five, six hours and barely even put a dent in the voltage. We don't typically, but sometimes I will. I'll, for, I'll get drinking and I'll forget about it and it'll be on and on and on and come over and fire up the machine like nothing ever happened. But I am going to put an extra battery down in under the seat. Sometime. I don't know. I'm probably... This is the factory battery. I don't think I ever showed you guys what happened to this battery. This is the factory battery. Well, I can't really use this hand. The terminals are cracked. Both of them. That's why I had to pull this battery out of my machine. I didn't trust it. Well, I want to do two batteries. So, I'm going to do one under the seat, and I'm leaving the upgraded one that I already put in up under the where it normally sits. Up in there. But, yeah, you're right. It is kind of a pain in the butt to do out there in there. My wife's rig, she got it somewhat cleaned up and then took it out and got it dirty. 
I love this CF Moto. It's it's a nice uh, little 500, but it's not peppy enough for me. If you guys are wondering, I do got two inch spacers on that. Some of you guys know, some of you don't. And you can really see. And I took her flares off because I think it looks better. And actually, so does she. It's her machine, so whatever she wants. And I left them off, so. I was working on my generator today. For some reason, the alternator won't charge. I don't know why. I'm going to have to tear it apart and see. It was rebuilt quite a few years ago, but it was set in storage. I built this, and it worked fine. I put it in storage last year. I couldn't get it to start this year. I got it to start. It was a dirty carburetor. Somehow a bunch of dirt got in the carburetor, and I, I'm guessing from we take it riding, some dirt got down in there. There's no fuel filter. I'm going to have to put one on because it was all sand in there. So I'm going to have to put a filter on. But uh, I was checking it because I noticed that this battery wasn't coming up. And it was this not charging. So I had to manually charge that. So I don't know why it's not charging. But this is a 200, this is 250 amp alternator. And we run, we run a power inverter off of it. And it works great. It's a gas hog, though. It'll go through this tank in about an hour and a half, two hours. That's a little tank, I guess, though, so. Let me check my battery. Oh, yeah, we're good for a little bit. Yeah, guys, I don't really know what to talk about. I haven't, nothing's, nothing's really new other than the wife let me go spend... 40 bucks at Walmart, and I got these Sonys. They sound good up in there. So, I just got to go buy some good steel, something that's not all dented. This stuff is dented, and that's why I figured it'd be good for a prototype. And if you guys are interested on how to do that, you can come up with your own ideas on how to tie it in. Me, what I'm probably going to do is... Next time I cut these, I'm going to make them fit just a little better. And then I'm just going to self-tap the screws. Self-tap, and then I'm going to pull it down, and I'm going to paint inside the holes. And I'm going to put some grease up in there after the paint's dry so the holes don't rust. And uh, self-tap it in there. But I used um, five. Five and a half or five and a quarter five and a quarter speakers you can do six six is in here but it'd be tight but yeah so if anybody's interested on how to do that that's that's what i did because these are loud but i do drive the street a lot and at 55 60 miles an hour the only thing i hear is that so now I should be able to hear my tunes. Oh, well, boys. Let's see. Your battery did the same thing. I heard a lot of stuff. And you know what I bet it is? I bet it's the technicians that are hooking them up, over tightening them. Because these you can't really tighten that good. Let's see. But yeah. I think that's what happened. They were going to warranty out this battery for me. But they wanted me to bring my machine in and drop it off. And I was going riding the next day. And they were three weeks behind. I asked them if I could bring the machine in on the trailer... And let them see the battery, and then I'd swap it out. Nope, nope, can't do that. Have to drop it off and wait three weeks for them. I said, forget it. And I went to AutoZone and spent the money on a new battery. Our dealer is so crooked. 
Why do I need to drop off my machine for three freaking weeks just to wait to, for you to get to a five-minute job? They said that they had the battery on the shelf and they could warranty it out, but I had to drop it off and they were three weeks behind. Come on. Come on, people. They've done that to me. I don't for all kinds of stuff. Just like that when I first got this machine, I can't remember which one it was. One of these front tires had a slice in it. I didn't even unload it off the trailer when I first bought it and I noticed it. I called him the next day and I said, "Hey, told him what happened." Yeah. Yeah, we can we can do that. You have to bring the machine in and drop it off. We're a month behind. I said, I can't just bring you the freaking tire and swap it out. Nope. Nope. Can't do that. So I said, well, can you make me an appointment to do it? I'm taking it riding. I can bring it by so you can look at it. That way you know it, it happened at your facility and not out on a trail. They said, no, we'll believe you. We got a tire here. I'll get you an appointment and get it in and get it fixed. And they did fix it. And they didn't. And the guy told me he knows what happened. He said the, the crate that they bolt these down in pinched that tire. As soon as he seen the pinch or the, the whatever, the slice in the tire, he said he knew it was from that crate. So I guess it's happened to a couple of them. I don't know. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get off here. It's been a long day. My hand hurts. Really bad, actually. Right? All right, guys. I'll see you all on Facebook. I'm heading in. Later. How do I end this thing?